if you just finished the rather good Provenance by Anne Leckie, a uh, follow-up to her previous Imperial Rash series books, uh, Ancillary, Justice, Sword and Mercy. Uh, not maybe in that order. Maybe in that order. I'm not sure, but I've not gone to look. It's a slightly lighter read than uh, the more uh, uh, apocalyptically presented other books. I'm talking about a girl called Ingray, uh, who is living in a culture where mementos from things are important. They call them vestiges. I can't really go into much more without ruining the story for you. This is, this is always difficult, talking about books and things without ruining it for you. Uh, though some people would probably argue that my, me talking about it at all is ruining it for you. Hi, Wayne! Anyway, the thing about provenance is that the title kind of tells you a lot about the book. A lot of it's about whether things are real or not, or forgeries, and whether people are who they claim to be or who the main character assumes them to be. Uh, often there's mixes ups. That's an extremely poor way of putting that. Often there are mix ups uh, between who should be there and who isn't there. And it always has a kind of farcical element to it with that, with the main character not picking up what's going on. Also, it's going to really, really, really upset uh, YouTube neo Nazi types because. There's there's male and female and a third gender in it, uh, plus some same sex relationships. Uh, so that's that's going to upset some people, which is great. I'm very pleased that that's going to upset some people. Some people, kind of people who get upset about um, asexual emojis, those kind of people are going to be exceptionally upset about this, and that's fantastic. So good on that one. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Providence by Anne Leckie, well worth it. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to fuck off now.